You hear what I'm saying? It's in your hands. If you want your church to succeed in adventurers, pathfinders, ambassadors, young adults, it's in your hands. You might be shaking, nodding your head and saying, yes, Pastor. But your challenges, right? There might be people that are slow to get onto the ministry buckets or ship. Remember, the church is a ship. How long does it take to turn a ship around? A long time. The ship has been standing still for almost a year and a half, right? Two years. And you just start the engine. It's now time that you start to get the ship going. And I'm sure as soon as the ship starts moving, what's going to happen? You've got to keep it going. So to keep it going, you have to do something. We use it in athletics, relay. You guys know what the relay is. What pass, happens? pass it on. You better pass it on, but how do you pass it on? Do I wait for that person to be here? You start moving, right? So that when you get that pattern, what happens? You can go because then you're already at top speed. Okay? Now here's the thing, ladies and gentlemen. My race, in my mind, as a director, is coming to the close. I see the next director in front of me, whoever that might be. What must I do? I must speed up and I must give it over. I'm passing it on. You have started this year. You must start preparing for next year. Are you with me? You've got to start making your list to ensure that you have something to give to your next leader. Because if you're not giving anything to the next leader, guess what you have just caused the ministry to do? To stall. Which means the ship is going to stop. When you start the first day, you must start preparing for the finish line. Does that make sense? When I started my first day in 2018, at the end of 2018, it was in a master guide in Western Germany. We invested 50 master guides at Langa Church. Sister Lumi, I don't know if they're all busy. I don't think they're all busy. And I have a question. If you're a master guide, irrespective of your age, all right, you have a challenge to never drop the baton. You should always be passing it on. Are you with me? I haven't taken a pin back. Because if I hear, if I hear that master guys, and I've heard this last two weeks, master guys are drinking, they're smoking, they party, what a what a what, I can go through the list. If I hear that, and I know the names, I will go to the pastor and say, Church Paul, these names are not being the best example as master guides. It's now time that we have to remove the pins. You understand what I'm saying? Because that means my spiritual state is not moving with the times. It's not building with Christ. Okay? Christ is our center. We have to move the church forward. Are you ready? Yes. It was a solemn occasion. Are you ready? to truly take on this baton as a leader for the Lord. Yes. Do you want to go home? Yes. Do you want to have your kids go home with you? Yes. I'm not talking about Kaylee to go home. I'm not talking about Kaylee to go home. Or Paul, he's Paul. I'm not talking about that. Though. I'm talking about this <coughs> home. It's now time that we as leaders realize that we have the capacity to move the church in the right direction. You need to train your kids. I have prepared myself to pass on the baton. Okay? And the time is going to come when I can pass on the baton. Where the Lord takes me next, I don't know. But I can actually just say, thank you, Lord, that you have provided leaders to the churches to move the ministry forward. So thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule. I know you're going back to work tomorrow. I know it's tiring, but I hope you've been inspired over this last weekend. You might have expected something different, but realize that through the tiredness, 
nothing, nothing that is easy is actually going to be that great. A diamond is formed under a lot of pressure. Realize you're a diamond of the kingdom. And each and every child that you're working with is a diamond of the kingdom. Let's shape it. Let's build it. Do we have a certificate? And I'm going to ask Brother Prince and the white one to come to the front. And we're going to call your church up together. Okay? Your whole church. Because we don't have a lot of time. We don't want to spend another three hours handing out certificates. So we're going to call your church up. If your church comes up, you can come and collect your certificates. But we're going to pray now. As you collect your certificates, you may then head out. Can we do that? Yes. Amen? Okay. Let's stand and let's go.